sorry, 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 just stand up, stand up, okay? Stand up. What? What? Don't do that! Sorry, my love, don't do that. No, no, why are you running? Oh, please, no. Babe, honestly, I don't think I can do this anymore. I'm fed up with your sister and your mom. Come on, they can't exist under the same roof watching them treat fellow human beings like trash. No way. Oh. Oh, that's sad. It's really sad. Now you can see what they've been putting up with all these years, living with them in the palace. It's terrible. <sighs> You know what, babe? You have to start making arrangements on moving that girl out. You know the slave girl? Her life is no longer safe in this palace. Please make arrangements to move her out of here. You have a point. Actually, yeah. I've been thinking about it. Believe me. Because if anything happens to that girl, I, I won't forgive myself. A girl whose only crime is being born with a certain identity that is despised by our people. That's so terrible. And your father, I'm so angry with the king. He's not doing anything about this. He's just quiet. You needed to see what your sister did to that girl today. That was so mean. She was so wicked to that girl. She almost killed her alive. Thank God I was there. I feel so, so, so much for that slave girl. I can feel her pain. Oh, that's oh dear, so I wish I knew what to do. Believe me. I wish I knew what to do. My mother and my sister, they're, they're irredeemable. <gasps> I wish I knew what to do. Greetings, my king. Bless my daughter. Mm -hmm. Bless, huh? Thank you. My king, do you mind if I get a glass of juice for you? No, no, but I, I, I have what already here. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just get a seat. Let's uh, talk. Let's chit chat. Huh? All right, all right. I'll be back. I hope you've been getting on fine with my son ever since you came into this palace. <laughs> yes, my king. You know, Kanayo is such a nice man. Very sweet. <laughs> Very caring. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah, you know, Kanayo is my son that I love so much. And uh, he behaves very well. My prayer for him is that he gets all the good things of life that he desires. Amen. <laughs> and amen. God will bless him and grant him all his wishes. He's a good man and he deserves the best. I know. <laughs> I, know. Uh, I, I know you must have been observing the behavior of my wife and the daughter ever since you came in here. I think that is our nature. I've tried all I could to make sure that I change their attitude. But it looks like they love evil and wickedness. You're right, my king. Like you said, I've been observing them. The queen and the princess. You know, the way they treat people around here, like they are slaves. No human being should be treated like that. That's so wrong. But you know what, my king? Just do your very best to stand out. Do your very best to do what is right and leave the rest for God. Because I, Melody, I will never be in support of woman maltreatment. That's so wrong, but it's so unfortunate. 
I don't know why they are like that. That's my daughter-in-law talking. <laughs> <laughs> my beautiful daughter-in-law. <laughs> huh? oh, that's good. Thank you. I think my son will have a good wife in you. <laughs> Thank you. This life is full of us. No one is More than that girl disappoints me. Same here. I thought she would change my son. But she's the exact opposite. By supporting his foolishness. You know, I, I don't even know whether to regret ever, you know, suggesting such an airhead in the first place. Let's not lose hope on her yet. But I have to make her to understand something. Which is? <laughs> my queen! Oh, see, baby! Oh my god, what is she? <laughs> so you were at the balcony? Watching my son demeaning his status by associating with that slave girl. <laughs> my queen! So you saw us. <laughs> so, what did you find out about my son? And the slave girl. Nothing. Nothing. He's just being friendly with all the workers. Yeah, especially that slave girl. <laughs> you know it's a big fat lie, right? I know you really want it to be true. So bad. But unfortunately, it's a beautiful big lie. Ever wondered why my brother cares so much? I mean, why he's so particular about that slave girl amongst other maidens in this palace? Have you ever thought about that? Yes. I feel it's because she's the one that is suffering the most. Yeah. You know, that girl has been through a lot. So he's just been compassionate and friendly towards all of them and that is how every human being should be be compassionate towards one another <laughs> and if I may ask what do you mean or what are you trying to insinuate by is the one that suffered the most what are you trying to say well let me help explain it in a better language for you you see that girl Behind that fake innocent look, she's parading up and down. Lies a long cast switch, laying low and waiting for the appropriate time to strike. I tell you something, it will shock you to know that your biggest rival in the life of my brother is that slave dirty bitch. <laughs> Come on, Osi. You can never change. Why are you coming up with such stories? Stop making that up. It's not nice. Excuse you, Melody. I'm telling you the truth. You are here acting like you. Why are you being so naive? Listen to me. If you love my brother, I mean if you are serious about becoming his wife, then you have to take out that girl before she takes you out. She is your rival. I'm telling you, as my friend, all right? You take her out right now or she takes you out. So you choose. Do not say I did not inform you. This life is full of us. No one is too little to be ignored. And you need never food. So bring back the equality, abolish the slavery and segregation. Makanini never We are one now. We are one now. You don't look happy, what's wrong? We are one now. What's wrong? We are one now. Nothing, I'm fine. If you can do better than that, you're not fine. What's wrong? Babe? Um... Do 
do you have feelings for that girl? I mean, Ihoma, you like her? Do you? Do I have to answer that question? Because I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Y yes. Um, don't I have the right to know who, who you have feelings for or not? You don't have the right. I'm a full grown man. I have the right to um, relate with anyone I choose to relate with. I owe you no explanation. You're not my wife. But I'm your wife to be. I have every right to know who you relate with or who you're liking or something. Yeah. I see you've been speaking with my mother. And you've allowed her to mess with your head. Don't be fooled by the things she tells you. Please. I owe you no explanation. I have the right to relate with anybody I choose to relate with. I don't have to explain anything to you. You are not my wife, okay? You're not. In fact, you've gone overboard. Excuse me. Babe. Um, you were having an affair with that girl, Ihoma. <gasps> That's so bad of me. Why am I supposed to question your character? Come on. You're Prince Kanayo, a perfect gentleman. So I shouldn't question your character in any way. Please <coughs> forgive me, baby. It will never happen again. It's alright, I, I forgive you. It's okay. See, Ihoma is a girl I'm just helping, you know. She's going through a lot. A whole lot. Of all the maids in this palace, she is the hardest worker. Yet she's the least paid. All because they see her as an osu, an outcast, you know. And I just hate it. It annoys me. So. Just trying to protect her and save her from danger. That's it. You're right. Keep doing more. Help her. Yes. It's good to help another human. I'm so sorry for my assumption. It will never happen again. Okay? <laughs> Just give me a smile. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> Dangerous. 
have to call the priest. Nurse! <sighs> Nurse, I need my phone! My phone! Just like Cobra, an outcast deserves nothing but death and shouldn't be allowed to coexist among our people. But come to think of it, how did she get to walk in the palace in the first place? How? My dear, her parents were killed. And the little girl pleaded to serve in this palace for 20 years in order for her to secure her freedom. And you know, my husband, out of compassion, he accepted and now she's after your son. That is the problem. Oh. And that stupid boy is always ready to do whatever it takes to be with her. Despite his betrothed living under the same roof in this palace. Did he realize the shame it will bring to the royal household if the villagers happen to find out that he is mingling with an outcast? Did he realize that? That is the more reason I reached out to you, my dear. Huh. I wouldn't want my son to leave his betrothed and follow that idiot. Tell me how best I can do it. I am lost here. You will have to get rid of that outcast. Get rid of that girl and immediately. Yes! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Huh. How best can I do it? I am lost here. Don't you worry. I wouldn't want my son to leave that um, his betrothed because of that stupid girl. This life is full of us. No one is too little to be ignored. And you need never fool. So bring back the quality. Abolish the slavery and separation. Makani never fool. Dada, what is it? Here is your food. Eh? Here is what? Your food. <laughs> Starting when? Oh, Samaka, when did you start serving me food? Let me even ask you, when did you start entering the kitchen? You too, let me ask you. Is this the thank you you should tell me for bringing your food? Um, because, Samaka, let me tell you. I don't have thank you to tell you. In fact, let me even warn you. In your life, till the day you will leave this palace, I don't want you to ever bring food for me, you know, no? don't go close anywhere you see them bringing my food or whatever, I don't want to see you go close. Do you know why? Because I hate your desperation, I hate your wickedness, I hate your lifestyle, you appear like Onyenshi, you appear evil, so I don't want you to come close to my food in any way. Ginyebum, you want a possibility, you want a side, Ginyebum, madam. God, Dede, you are a very wicked person. You are very stupid. In fact, I don't blame you at all. I blame myself for bringing this nonsense to you. Better. Do you hear me? Better. Because if I get what I am looking for in this palace, mm -hmm. <laughs> I forget the story. <laughs> you will never get it. Whatever you are looking for in this palace, no matter how big or small, you will never, your eye will I never will see. Get it, Jesus it will never come close to you. Oh man, they are dragging a manero wine now. Yeah, you try and you will never succeed. I will get it in Jesus' name. Let's see. Anything I am looking for, I will get it one after the other. You see, evil people, you are the first to call Jesus. Now you have said, I will get it in Jesus' name, which is not possible. You will never get it. Jesus doesn't do anything. Carry evil. this your food. Carry this nonsense. Come on, Bruno says, it's a good you. Instead of me to eat this nonsense you have here. I rather be hungry. Remain hungry and die. Burugi, you don't want to eat. Shibapo. Oh no problem, now let me carry my food. Mama, useless man. I don't blame you. 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 Oh, my prince, your food is ready. Should I serve you? 
I warned you not to dress like this again in my presence, didn't I? Oh, my presence. Why are you doing it again? I am sorry. Can I serve you? No. Call me Amaka. Oh. My prince, if it's about my dress, I can go and dress properly to serve you. I said, call me Amaka. your yam legs and this figured waist <laughs> that the prince will look at you the prince will look your way away <laughs> you will never cease to amaze me so you slept and woke up with full conviction that the prince will look your way <laughs> you must be very stupid no wonder you hate it Homer because she's standing in between you and the prince. Listen, the prince will never look at you. Not in this lifetime. Do you know what you girls are? You girls are fools. Failures. Yes, big failures. That's what you are. In Anya, I will get the prince, whether you wish me to get him or not. Because the last time I checked, you are not my god, and you can never be. Inania, and you think God is stupid to allow a disaster like you in the prince arms? <laughs> Thank God the prince know what he's doing. That he can never settle for a low life like you. Have you taken a proper look at yourself and see how cheap and miserable you appeared before the prince? If I let me, just look at this low life retired whore. Wait. You better stop dreaming, my dear. The prince will never look your way. I even doubt if he's considering a humor. Because he's just being nice to her. Because that's how he is. And we can't used to be like this until recently. You know now. Hey, Mara. Why can't you just mind your businesses? Eh? Why are you so bothered about my methods? Why? Why can't you continue with your low life and leave me with my big dreams? I believe that one day, God will answer my prayers. Who <laughs> is calling God? God, you. You. Us on a dream, big. She got in a room, a big dream. I will dream. keep dreaming big. Keep dreaming you know, low. Low. You keep you going keep under, 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 under low. You keep dreaming. I feel like to, to, Say to you kill her. You can't do anything. You can't dream. do anything to me. This is my room. We will continue living in this part. This life is full of us. No one is too little to be ignored. And you need never food. So bring back the quality. Abolish the slavery and segregation. My need never food. I need never food. Stop the segregation, stop the discrimination, and let the love of India. No more fighting, no, no more killing, I need me to Thank you. See, this 
life is full of us. No one is too little to be ignored. And you need never vote. So bring back the quality. I'm impressed. My God. Like, you're learning very fast, you know. See, my love. I'm, I promise you that I'm ready to do anything to make this relationship work. Anything that pleases you. In that case, we won't be having issues anymore. If you continue like this. Yes, my love. I hope you enjoy yourself. You know, I'm thinking, aren't you tired of living with your brother? I mean, isn't it time you move to your own house? I can make that happen. You know, right? Wait. I, I, I don't understand. Like, for real? <laughs> what are you saying, Stanley? Aren't you tired? Wait! Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. You are the best ever. Thank you. That's okay. <sighs> service apartment. I rented it for a year in your name. Jesus! Thank you. <laughs> Jesus! Are you serious? My God, may God bless Amen. you. May God reward you abundantly. I don't know what I've done to deserve this love. Everybody rejected me, but you've been showing me love. You've been showing me love ever since I came to the palace. Now look at me. Oh God. I'm, I'm, I'm short of words. My God, you will never lack. Amen. You will never lack. God will Amen. continue to protect you for, for accepting me and deciding to help somebody like me. Hey, It's all right. Jesus. Get up, get up, get up. Hey. Don't kneel down. I'm not God. You deserve more. Hey, it's all right. um, make sure it remains a secret. All right? I know my people, they'll start snooping around. Once they find out, they'll try to make a force about it. Even though I'm equal to the task, but I don't need all that. All right? No problem, no problems. Thank you so much. You've given me heaven on earth. Hey, That's Jesus. Right. Who right. am I? If Who you need I? anything else, let me know. I don't need anything. I have everything already. <laughs> God bless you. All right, no problems at all. In addition, I'll be sending down a guard who will be staying here with you. There's a provision for him outside there. That's where he'll be staying. So he'll be protecting you. He'll be here at your beck and call. Me? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Thank you. It's fine. God bless you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank You're you. welcome. Let me go get you some clothes and food. Because I'll be back shortly. God bless you. Away. How could you do such a thing? What kind of a king are you? Is your son now too big for you to condemn his excesses? 
that boy has no right to relieve that girl of her duty in this palace. Why don't you stand your ground and call a spade a spade? That is where you go wrong. Do you know you are talking about the crown prince? Do you even know the responsibility of a crown prince? Ah, let me tell you. Go through the Igwe ship constitution and know whether he has gone wrong or right. Does that matter? You are his father and capable enough to condemn his actions. I don't even understand your own actions recently. If that boy finally falls in love with that girl, you will still tell me there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know why I cannot understand you anymore. You are becoming so soft for my liking and annoying too. I've had enough. Now out of this place. And I'm out! Leave me there! Leave me there! Now! 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 Leave! This life is for of us. No one is too little to be ignored. And you need never food. So bring back the quality. Abolish the slavery and segregation. Thank you so much, my prince. God bless you. Bless you too. Call me, can I? Hmm? No, no one addresses a crown prince by his first name. Then you'll be the first. Save me. My prince, thank you so much. I don't even know what I've done to deserve this kindness you're showing me. Eh? From this to this to this to... You never get tired of helping me. My God will reward you. Amen. You know, God never gets tired of doing miracles. So I'll never get tired of helping you. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> thank you so much. No hey, the hairs are so beautiful. The clothes. Hey. <laughs> I like them. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, it's okay. Thank you. Stanley, my man. Um, Abasi. Thank you very much. I, 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 felt, I don't know how to thank you. Your idea is perfectly working. Thank you very much, my guy. You try. Why are you okay, Dabi? Ah, uh -uh. my guy. My name is obedient as I'm talking to you. You see, I am fully obedient as I'm talking to you now. Alexi, see, she has agreed to get me a new house so that I'll leave this my brother's house. It's too big. Really? I'm telling you. Oh, it's coming one now. <laughs> you see, what that girl wants is just somebody that will pamper her, worship her, obey her, just do whatever thing she wants. That's all. And if that is what will turn my world around, my guy, I will do that hundred times. Like this. Just, just remain this way. I should get to your car. You never can tell. Coming to that, as if you know what is on my mind. Listen, you see that car? You know what is why she has been dealing with me with cars? I bet you she will get me a new car. You will get that and more. Watch it. Oh, don't no forget me, oh. you are real G. Come on now. <laughs> How will I forget you? Stand my guy, man. My man. <laughs> oh, my guy. Listen, I will not forget you. You are my friend, my brother. I will never, never forget you. Perhaps all these things are your ideas. I cannot do without you. Yeah. Do you understand? The next time you will see me, you will see me in my sweet car. Abby. Like, <laughs> that's my man. That's me. <laughs> Nah, oh boy, you don't get anything for this. Man, let's go out. <laughs> let's go and move go that uh, Japanese. This man. You know now. <laughs> let me even call you to know if she's around. Okay. So that... Biko Cherokwan, this cash of gum. How did you people find this place? Ha! It's only a the prince trusted guy that told us now. But please don't tell the prince. You know it's a secret, please oh. Huh? Hmm? My dear, I'm so happy for you. Wait, though, you mean this is your house? Yes. Eba, like your house? Yes. Hey, Ununka Maya. I'm so, like, congratulations. Thank you. It's a big one, eh? Ne, I've always known that the prince has his eyes on you, and now he has clearly shown it. 
You see. simply do not know what you're talking about. Mm. Has his eyes on who? My last mate. Relax, girl. We are your friends and we are happy for you. It has never been heard that Prince has an eye on a maiden. An outcast, you mean? Relax, girl. Stop calling yourself that. You are our sister. And very soon you'll be the Prince bride, you know now. <laughs> Please stop putting words in my mouth. There is nothing going on between the prince and I. I'm telling you the truth. No relationship, no marriage, not even a discussion close to that. I know he got me this house, bought me clothes, shoes and hairs and everything, but I feel that's agape love. God is just using him to put a smile on my face. You, of course you girls know everything I, I went through in that palace. I doubt that. Because you mean nothing is going on between you and the prince. And he's doing all this for you. Eh? He's doing all this whole thing for you. I, can't, I find it hard to believe, please. Nothing is going on. I, I'm telling you the truth. Look me in the eyes. You know that I'm saying the truth. No, Are you sure? I'm certain. Thank you so much for coming. Please remember, don't tell anybody about this place. Be good for my own safety. Since you insisted on not eating anything, I'll just quickly do takeout for you. Guys. Yes, we'll okay. rush into the park. Okay, just wait, let me get it. Okay. okay. I have done all the necessary consultations. I was told the slave girl is not using anything on your son. She's not using anything? How? She's not using any charm of any kind. He just likes her naturally. That means my son will never turn her his back on her. Oh my word. My fear has been confirmed finally. My son is trapped. And he will bring her forth as a wife. You don't know that for sure. You can't tell. It has already been confirmed in my dream. She's going to take over my son and turn him against me. Huh. From my consultations, I wasn't told that it will happen. I wasn't told that would happen. It's happening already. They're already together. N never mind. I can handle it. I know exactly what to do. Ego Yibo, you have to calm down. You have to calm down and think. Yes. How dare you address me by my first name? Apologies, my queen. Now get out. Get out! Is for of us. No one is too little to be ignored. And you need never fool. Hey. So bring back the quality. Abolish the slavery and segregation. Makanini never fool. We are one. Amaka. Chidema. Where are you girls coming from? Did you hear something? Because I heard something like maybe a bed or a bed bulb. Did, did you hear it? I want an antenna, but I hey! Want it is you that is a bed bulb. Yes! It's like you have forgotten how we beat you the last time. Eh? You have forgotten, okay? Each of go! Don't worry. Eh? I am going to tell Princess that you both left this palace without telling me your whereabouts. <laughs> hey! See this fool? You are still reminiscing your friendship with the princess and her relevance. Hmm? <laughs> Madam, go and report us to the king. 
That is what we are expecting. In a me look over. Go and report us to the king. That's what we are expecting. Alright? Are you hearing me? Because we both know that your friendship with the princess has expired. Inugo! <laughs> Ami. No. I feel like beating this girl. Like, I feel like to beat her so much. Let's leave this fool. Hmm? Let her get what is coming for her. Okwage. Because you wish someone evil, you think evil will come to the person. Okay, no. hmm? If I tell you where we are coming from, I inquire. Okay, Kweta. If you tell you where we are coming from, you will know that man no be God. Yes, so. Where, where yes. are you people coming from? Shut up! We won't tell you. I beg shifts. Oh, to think that I was even dressing bed before this idiot came in. Not dress bed, he dress for me. Nola and Nipiko are dressed bed. Where is my son, the prince? Oh, my queen, he just left the palace. He just left the palace. Can you hear yourself talk? Meaning you don't even know the whereabouts of the man you claim you love and would want to spend the rest of your life with. Of course I know. He went out to probably get me ice cream, pizza, you know. <laughs> News flash, Miss Melody. My brother has moved out of the palace. What? Moved? Moved to where? I, I don't get it. Moved in with that slave girl, Melody. He got an apartment and furnished it for her. As we are speaking right now, he's currently living together with her. Does it ring a bell now to you? Oh, come on. Oh, Snitchy, why are you like this? You want to mess up my day? <laughs> Just tell me you're joking. My friend, she's joking, right? No, I'm a joker. I'm a joker, a big clown, right? A big clown. That's what I am. I swear you disappoint me. You disappoint me. If I had known you would turn out a failure, I would have gotten a competent bride for my son. Miss Melody, listen to me. My brother, the crown prince, I mean the soon coming king, is every girl's dream husband. You got him on a platter of gold. Instead of you to make use of the beautiful opportunity that was given to you, what did you do? You let him slip through your fingers just like that. I thought you said you are wise. You are actually a big clown. A heavy fool. Melody, I am gutted. No. No. No, no Osnichi, no, my queen. Please don't say that. Okay, if, if it's your choice. So I'm thinking we can set up a shop for you here. Choose anywhere around here. I'll set up a shop for you. More like a kiosk, you know. I'll get a carpenter to do like a table for you and chairs. Then I'll get people to supply the food stuff. So thank you so much, my prince. You're such an amazing person. May God reward you abundantly. Amen. Thank you. I Amen. appreciate it. May God bless you too. Amen. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd like you to go back to school. Yes, it's very important. Education is key. I don't want you to miss it. So once they start uh, our registration for WIKE, let me know. I'll give you money so you can register. Yes. Once you do that, you start lessons. I'd like you to write WIKE once. I don't want you to do it twice. I have seen God, oh. I have seen God. Thank you so much. In fact, eh, I 